So the team over at teammail.co.uk, one of the best e-commerce news blogs that I know of, have released recently a great little document. You'll find the link for it below, which talks about 50 things that every eBay seller needs to know. So let's take a look at what it's all about. So the second part of Tembe's document explains eBay defects. eBay have a behind the system scenes that monitors sellers' performance based on a number of inputs, including buyer feedback and a seller's behavior. So-called defects have a detrimental effect on their seller profile, so it's vital that you're aware of how you get them and how you must deal with them. Up until now, there have been many ways you could receive a defect, and sometimes it was hard enough to stay on top of them all the time. Now these included, for example, a detailed seller rating of one star for delivery time, a detailed seller rating of one, two or three stars for an item description, negative feedback, the buyer not receiving the item, a return request because the item didn't match the listing description, a seller cancelled transaction where the buyer did not request the cancellation, and buyers chasing up where the item is. All of these did count as defect reasons. However, thankfully, since the end of February 2016, eBay have cut these defects down to just two. Now the document doesn't really go into these because it was published before the end of February 2016. But thankfully, just last week, I attended a webinar where one of the founders and directors of TMBay and writes for it every day gave us an update on what it's all about. eBay defect number one. The first defect includes a seller cancelling an order. So you'll receive a defect if you as the seller cancel an order on a buyer due to running out of stock. And secondly, the seller not being able to resolve a case. So if the buyer opens a case against the seller and the seller can't resolve this case, eBay will have to take over the case and so the seller will receive a defect on their account. As a seller on eBay, you should be able to resolve any of these issues. All sellers must have less than 2% of transactions with defects to be allowed to trade on eBay. To become an eBay top rated seller, you must have less than 0.5% of transactions with defects. The second and final defect includes on-time shipping. So the item must be accepted by the courier, delivered on time, and the buyer must confirm the delivery. So eBay are looking into what a buyer really wants. It's that simple. A buyer wants better service. So in order to be an eBay seller, you need to have less than 9% of items that were not delivered on time. And to be a top rated eBay seller, you need to have less than 4% of your items which were not delivered on time. So this defect for on-time shipping came into effect recently on the 20th of February of 2016. However, there's currently an issue with the Royal Mail tracking in the UK. So until the 20th of May, eBay will automatically remove any late deliveries that sellers might incur when using Royal Mail track for, sign for, or special delivery, as long as you upload the tracking number to eBay. So uploading the tracking numbers will result in on-time deliveries, which is good news for you as an eBay seller, especially if you operate in the UK. So eBay measure metrics on the 20th of each month. So as long as the buyer says the item was delivered on time, you'll not receive a defect, even if the item was delivered two days later than scheduled, perhaps due to weather conditions. But people are also understanding that way. Also, one thing to take into consideration is that if there were multiple items being delivered to one buyer and they were delivered late, eBay will only count this as one late delivery. So therefore, one person can't affect your metrics too much. If you ship tracked, you shouldn't have a problem with this anyway. If you do run out of stock, which can happen, don't worry. Just try and source the stock from another seller. If you're staying on top of your competitors, you'll know exactly who's selling the same stuff as you. So choose one of the reputable competitors, buy it from them, stick the delivery address on that it's going to, and off it'll go. And then you avoid getting a seller defect. Even if you do break even or lose a bit of money, at least your eBay selling status will stay the same and you'll be well on your way to maintaining your top rated seller status. To find out more about how you might be affected by defects, just go into your seller dashboard in My eBay, and this will give you an immediate view on whether your trading behavior is considered above average or below average. Remember, 
If you feel some defects were unfair, you can always appeal them and this will help improve your seller rating. So there you go. More of this to come over the next few videos. Don't forget to sign up to tembay.com so as you can get your daily news fix direct to your inbox and you won't miss out on any important updates from Amazon, eBay or the world of e-commerce. If you like this video and would like to see more, please do subscribe to my channel and that way I'll be able to bring you more tips and tricks to help you on your e-commerce journey. Thanks for listening. This is Patrick from Selling Online Today. Bye-bye.